Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. I'm currently running version 2020.40.8 on my Tesla Model 3. We all know that the uh, Tesla full self-driving beta has been released to, I don't know, about five or 10 people, uh, but there's been some awesome footage on YouTube. I've seen the videos, I'm super excited about it. I wanted to take a look at what is probably the last release that's going to have any type of meaningful improvements to autopilot prior to the full self-driving uh, beta being released to more people. So let's establish a baseline. We're gonna go for a drive and uh, let's talk about it. Prior to full self-driving beta, us owners had something called full self-driving preview. And that had some great features as well as being able to uh, go through stop lights and stop signs, you know, stop at them when there's a red light, go when it's green. Um, but it required a lot of interaction with the vehicle. And the other key difference is that the full self-driving preview was two-dimensional in terms of what the Tesla could see around it in terms of its world. So the real breakthrough with the full self-driving beta is what Tesla calls 4D. So the Tesla can see the world around it in four dimensions. And that's why it's just going to blow the socks off of what us owners have today. Um, again, there's just a lucky few that have the beta already. So let's go for a drive and let's see what the full self-driving preview, the 2D code uh, can do. And then um, hopefully I'm going to get the full self-driving beta soon and I'll be able to do a comparison video, but at least you'll be able to compare this against some of the other full self-driving beta via, uh, videos that are already out there on YouTube. Let's get started. So the first difference here to talk about in terms of full self-drive preview and the full self-drive beta the full self-drive beta does not require any lines on the road. The vehicle sees in four dimensions and knows where it is. Uh, with the full self-drive preview, which is, like I said, what everybody else has other than a handful of people, it requires lane markings uh, for the most part. So right now I'm in a parking lot and with full self-drive uh, beta, um, the car would be able to just find a route and, and just go on its own based on the videos that I've seen already online, but we can't do that yet to the rest of us Tesla owners with just the preview. So that's the first baseline that I want to set. Uh, you, you, there's no way to automatically, you know, in a full stealth driving way, uh, get out of this parking lot with the version that I have and that most people have. So that's the first big difference I want to point out. All right, so let's just uh, manually get ourselves out of here. Based on what I've seen of the full self-driving beta, uh, the vehicle will be able to make its own right and left-hand turns. Um, the rest of us owners, like I said, <laughs> we can't do that yet. So we have to actually get onto the road, which is clearly marked with really nice lane markings. And then once we have the little wheel icon here, we can now engage autopilot. And then once it's on autopilot, uh, you know everything works pretty great uh, hopefully we're going to go through a little town up here and we'll hit a light and that kind of stuff and we can just establish the baseline of non-freeway driving uh, with the current version that's not the full self-driving beta <laughs> i know i keep saying that but i really want to make clear distinctions between what all owners have except for a handful of people and what the full self-driving beta is, just so that you can understand how we're gonna go from this baseline to something that is totally unbelievable uh, based on the videos I've seen so far of the beta. So, okay. Uh, the other things that uh, you know, all of us other owners can do with uh, the current version of the software is uh, it has speed sign recognition. So coming into town here, um, even if the maps are not correct, 
the car should automatically reduce its speed to the proper speed limit going through a town. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, still flying at 80, still flying at 80. Hopefully there's no cops around. Okay, so now it sees that it's a 50 zone. Now, the problem, as you probably are aware, is that you fly past that 50 kilometer speed limit sign and then the car reacts, which if there was a cop or something, you'd be getting a ticket. Um, so really what should happen is it, sh it should slow down before it hits that sign. Now I'm not sure I haven't seen in any of those uh, FSD beta videos yet whether or not that problem is solved, but um, it's currently an issue with uh, the version of the software that everyone else has. But otherwise, uh, you know, in terms of it navigating the roads, as long as the uh, lane markings are very clear, there's never any issues. It, even with the 2D code, it works quite well. All right, so we just passed an 80 sign, and you can see that uh, the Tesla's automatically uh, reset the speed limit for me. Now we're coming up to a traffic light. So what happens with the preview, the FSD preview, is that uh, it'll tell you that it's stopping for traffic control. And it'll do it automatically. Uh, obviously, you need to keep uh, some pressure on the wheel uh, here just so that it knows that there's still a human here and you're not sleeping. But yeah, this is, this is nice, this is nicely done. Now, if I had to make a left and I had a navigation program, I can't do that today. Uh, with the full self-driving preview, but that's what the 4D code and the full self-driving beta will allow. Um, and again, I've seen some of these videos and I'm totally blown away. Now you might be wondering, I mean, how is it that just a handful of people have this beta? Well, as you can imagine, I mean, this is, um, you know, from a safety perspective, that Tesla would want to be extremely careful how it rolls out the uh, FSD beta. So that's why it's just a handful and the rest of us have to wait. But that's good because now I can establish a baseline and you know, have something to compare against, hopefully in the next uh, week or so. I've knock on, this is wood, right? I'll knock on that. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. And um, had that light been green that we just stopped at, what would have happened with this version of the software is that if there was a car in front of me, uh, I could proceed through the light without having to interact with the vehicle. If there was no car in front of me, I would have to either hit the accelerator pedal or toggle uh, the, the switch here to let the car know that it's safe to go through. All right, here we are approaching a stop sign and you can see that it recognizes that there's a stop sign here. And I'm going to turn on the left turn signal and with the version of the software that I have, um, it's not going to do anything. So I'm going to have to manually make this left-hand turn, whereas uh, with the full self-driving beta, the car would be capable of just making that left-hand turn all on its own. And then now that I'm through there, I can re-engage with autopilot and the car will continue on its way. So you can see that um, with the 2D version of the full self-driving preview, it's really, uh, I mean, it's hard to say the word basic because it's still so far ahead of what uh, the other manufacturers are able to do, the traditional manufacturers. So while it is still like pretty awesome, it's uh, the 2D, code base now is just so outdated and it's amazing to see just how quickly that can happen. So the next thing that I want to show you in terms of what the current baseline is in the software that everyone else has is a uh, just a street that's in a town with houses so like a, a residential area and with the existing software 
you can see that there's no option. There's no little steering wheel up in the corner here that shows that you can engage autopilot. So you cannot engage autopilot to navigate or anything through here. And then of course, with the new FSD beta, uh, as we've seen from a lot of the footage that's already been posted online, you can navigate residential streets like this. So um, again, I'm just establishing our starting point before uh, the 4D code is widely in release. And, you know, who, know, who knows how long that's going to take. So, um, but again, at least it would be a nice clear baseline. And if you, you know, if this is a refresher as well, I mean, that's good too, right? Because uh, it's good to know what um, most of the Teslas are doing today versus the handful that have the super duper new software. So that's the city street. Now, one of the things that you can do, even though you can't engage autopilot on a city street with the baseline, you can um, do traffic aware cruise control or whatever it's called. And, um, oops, wrong, wrong button. I'm gonna up the speed a little bit here. But, you know, this is, while you can do it, um, it won't auto steer, right? because it can't see the lines, uh, you can't engage autopilot. But it will, uh, let's see if there's a stop sign or something coming, coming up ahead. Uh, it will recognize a stop sign and that type of thing in a residential neighborhood. But you are essentially just driving the car yourself other than um, you know, the car is uh, basically accelerating for you. This is really all it's doing right here, right now. Now it is aware of its surroundings, right? So if, you know, if a kid did pop out or something like that, it would recognize it. Or if there was a car parked along the side, it wouldn't hit it. So, you know, there are still some things today that are, um, you know, very cool if you're engaged, um, you know, with the uh, traffic aware cruise control. So it doesn't look like uh, we're going to get a stop sign in here. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's make a left here. So it's stopping. So for the stop sign, as you can see, even though I do not have autopilot engaged, and then. That's all it's going to do now. It's going to rely on me to uh, take the next move. So uh, I will do that. Just disengage that. Okay, so that's that's really what you're capable of doing in a town today, and in the very near future, uh, we've seen now with a lot of the videos of the FSD beta that the car is just going to be aware of its surroundings, going to be able to see its world in four dimensions and do all the super cool things that you imagine full self-driving could be. There's one more thing that I didn't show today that the current Teslas can all do, and that's navigate on, on autopilot. The reason why I didn't show that today is I just did a video on it last week, which I'll link up there, but it's pretty cool. You can get on the, fry, on the fryway. <laughs> You can get on a freeway and it'll take you uh, from entrance to exit uh, kind of thing um, along whatever your route is. And it could be like, I don't know, 400 kilometers, could be 40 kilometers. It'll just you know, drive you uh, on your route to your destination, but it does not work off of the freeway. So uh, again, you can scope that video out, uh, clicking the link up there. Now that you know everything that the current Teslas can do, you have something to compare against when you see all these new Tesla uh, FSD beta videos. And that was the purpose of this video, just to kind of establish that baseline. Again, this is the uh, most recent firmware that doesn't have the FSD beta, and that's 2020.40.8. There you have it. Thank you for spending time with me. Hit that like button, subscribe, Tesla Canuck, over now.